Okay, Lynn, Pet Catchers has been out for a while and I'm actually really enjoying the game, so I want to start a new series. I made a brand new account and the goal is to 100% complete the game, going from a noob to pro. I am going to be setting myself a few rules though, with the main ones being this account is strictly free to play, I am not allowed to spend any Robux at all, and I'm also not allowed to receive help from any other players such as trading. But yeah, along with that, let's just have some fun with the account and make sure to let me know any tips down in the comments that you think might help me out in the long run. With that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay then, we're in the game. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to options and scroll all the way down and turn on the stats. So throughout this series, you'll see like what my current stats are and you'll see them progress. I'll only probably turn these off whenever I'm bossing or fishing or like some type of minigame where there's UI which this might block. So that's the only time I'm going to turn it off. But all on that, the first other thing we should do is claim the codes that are actually in the game. So let me just go ahead and type all of those in. So we've got release, which gives us 1k coins and a coin potion. I'd love to see that. But yeah, all of these are actually going to be really nice to start off with. Cherry is actually going to be one of the best, if not the best item in the game. I'm probably only going to save these and I'm only going to use them on secret pets because this will have a chance to turn them into shiny. So yeah, definitely really good. And then we have I Love Fishing, which uh, isn't anything like super, super good, but hey, free items. And then we also might as well use the uh, creator code. So we got Russo. Is it Russo Plays? P plays? Uh, I, uh... uh Okay, there we are. So yeah, so these are actually going to be a little bit better than the starting pet. So we've got the Russo Plays one. Is it just bright? It is. Nice. And then I think there's Gravy Pets for the last one. So yeah, now that we've got the codes out of the way, we can start. Oh, I can only equip two pets at the very start. I'm sorry, Gravy, but we're going to go Russo and Bright. Okay. But anyway, now I can start, which uh, yeah, is mostly just like the catching guide. Just like the tutorial of the game, which I'm just going to cut through. Oh, and it looks like we're done. Nice. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I think this is actually already unlocked. Nice. The beacon is already unlocked, but there's a button which will open up a ladder and there's a chest which will give us even more free loot. And I like my free loot. Okay, I actually don't remember what this gives, but it's probably not too good because it is at the very beginning of the game. But yeah, I mean, starting the game with 21,000 gold, uh, gold coins. Yeah, please. Oh, to actually go to the next area, I have to catch a certain amount of pets. Well, um, let's just get a one star just because they're easier. And we don't want to waste our green capture balls, you know, or cubes, I should say. Yep, now I can unlock it. Okay, let's go into this. So there are shrines. We also got another quest guy, which we're definitely going to be doing the quest, okay, because they give us nice rewards. And also, I'm pretty sure you have to do most of them to actually progress. Maybe I might have made that up. But yeah, we got these shrines. We might as well claim them right now. Although in the future, we definitely want to make like different teams. We want to make like a team for like grinding money, for fishing, for bossing, and for shrines. Also, another chest. Nice. What does this one give? Epic cube. Okay, nice. I like that. Okay, Lynn, phony hawk. Let's get started on your quests. Oh yeah, the index as well. Uh, pretty sure we got all of the pets from the starting area. Obviously, we're just missing the shinies, which is going to take us a little bit to do, especially free to play, but we'll eventually get around to that, okay? It's just going to take time. Oh, I didn't even realize we actually have treasure. Okay, well, I'm actually going to put on one of these uh, coin potions, which means I will get even more money. This is actually a great way to start by having treasure. I didn't even realize it was probably on my screen the entire time. But, oh, we're getting like a thousand coins for one capture? Yes, please. Okay, we should easily fall this far. Yeah, I have a, a little bit more money than I feel like I should probably have. But anyway, now that we have plus one equip, I can now equip Graver. Which, uh, yep, yeah, is definitely uh, better than whatever else I have. Okay, then, before we go to the next area, let's go ahead and unlock the beacon. And while we're here, we might as well also get these um, upgrades because we have a lot of money. But now we can move on to a burn woods and yep, we now have a mobs to deal with, which I, yeah, this isn't going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, these pets are great to start off with. Okay, and it looks like we're ready to start spending even more money. Can I actually just buy all of these? I can. Well, uh, nice. Okay, that is uh, definitely very helpful. And we actually still have like a few more minutes of the treasure, so we're getting the most out of it. 
Oh, don't worry, chest, okay? I see you want me to open you, okay? What do I get from this one? Wild berries? Those are fine. I mean, it is going to take a lot of them to get max level, so we might as well start storing up now, which, uh, I mean, these pets I can probably take on for quite a while. Are they, like, these pets in this specific area better? No, they're actually not. The, uh... YouTuber pets are way, way better right now. Okay, this is looking great for me right now. Oh, it's actually time for the King Slime now. We're, we're ready for bossing. Okay, before we actually do that, I think there's actually some uh, more pets we can capture in here because I don't know if there's any more. Actually, no, 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 no. There's crafting, so you definitely have more quests for me. So I might as well go in quest order because I don't want to waste time capturing the commons if it's just going to be a quest I got to do anyway, right? But yep. Yeah. Let's hop into the first boss, which, uh, yeah, King Slime is very, very rudimentary, like, attacks. It's just jumping. That's quite literally it. So, uh, yeah, this shouldn't take me too long. Oh, no, he's doing a supercharge attack. What will I ever do? Except from jump twice. <laughs> okay, can these YouTuber pets please pick up the pace? Um, they're taking their sweet time, okay? I'm dodging all of these attacks, okay? I haven't taken a single tick of damage yet, but, uh... Can you maybe get rid of it faster? Just a little bit, please? Okay, that actually took a while, but it's finally down, and I also beat the quest. Maybe I get something really, really rare for my first, uh, boss. Come on. I know you want to give me, like, the rarest thing in here, okay? I will gladly take the pet, the pet, okay? But no, we actually got a lot of money low. Can't complain about this. And our first ticket as well. Oh, never mind. Maybe we don't have to capture any more for this guy's quest. We just have to craft five rare cubes, which will take five seconds. Okay, nice. Easy. And is this the last one for this area? Ho ho hopefully it is. It is. Nice. Okay, Lynn. Well, we might as well still capture, like, the pets in this area because I only caught rare ones. I don't have the epic and the commons yet. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all of the pets in this area. And also, with that, we now have uh, some uh, little rewards we can claim as well. Nice. This one is going to be pretty nice. We get a respawn tome, which will us battle the bosses even more times in a row without waiting for the respawn timer. And these eggs, we're definitely going to save them for, like, the legendaries, so, like, the final area. So if I get them, we're going to, like, basically keep a hold of them. Okay, the Frosty Peak, at least that's what I think this area is called, Quest is really, really easy. Like, there's not really too much to do. It's just, oh, walk in this little cave, go get 5,000 coins, which is like, what? Maybe I kill one snowman, and that honestly might just be it. Oh, actually, these snowmen have a lot more health. Okay, these pets are having a little bit of trouble. Come on, please take it down. Please. Oh, almost enough. If I had my uh, coin boost on, I think it actually would have been enough. But hey, I'll, I'll, I'll go out of my way and get rid of two, okay? Okay, there we are. Back to the cave goblin. Actually, I think it's meant to be like a golem. I have no idea. What oh, Magma Fiend. Okay, well, hey, we did it. We can go back to Major Bling, and I think that's actually all of the quests. Okay, now go back to the Ski Patrol dude, and this should open up the rest of the area, right? Yep, it was that simple. Well, before we move on, we might as well capture all of the pets in this area, you know? At least the common, the rares, and the epics. We'll come back for the legendaries because we might as well just wait for them to spawn. And so far, nothing has spawned yet. Okay, I think that's all of the easy pets from Frosty, okay? So now, let's move on. Also, I will say for the bro ones, okay, these bro quests, these are very, very good. We're not going to start them right now. I feel like it's better to actually say this for its own video and just like, I don't know, like, spend 24 hours just doing quests from this dude, because these have some of the best rewards, but I don't want to get sidetracked right now. For this video, I also want to complete all of the areas and get everything up to the legendary pets. Although that doesn't mean I can't unlock the beacon. I can't actually buy auto delete yet. I am broke. I might have to come back for some of these. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to come back. I can only get the health one, which I guess I might as well get. Oh, I can't even go to the next area. Okay, never mind. Back to grinding some money. <laughs> oh, it actually looks like our YouTuber pets are finally being replaced. I'm sorry, okay, but I need the better pets right now. Okay, I'm not actually too sure which one actually better is to kill the monsters or to capture the pets because I don't really want to sit and like capture the same stuff over and over again if I don't need them. But killing these dudes is going to take a little bit 
since uh, we don't have super strong pets. Especially these Amistum, man. They have a lot more health. Oh, a legendary unicorn spawned. Okay, we're gonna go back, okay? Okay, and with this, I've increased the pity as much as I can. So now I think we can just use our four epic cubes and just pray that it stays in. Even though it was only like a 6.5%, it's still better than nothing, I guess. But I think I'm just gonna waste all of these epic cubes, aren't I? Looks like I am. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're definitely not getting this. I think it's safe to say... I probably shouldn't attempt legendaries until I get the legendary cubes, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, actually, another legendary spawn. This one is actually in the area before the last legendary we took on, so it might be a little bit easier to actually go capture it. I'm gonna take a look at the odds. If it's really bad, I'm not even gonna attempt it, but I mean, hey, I can still throw like my first cubes at it, right? Okay, where is it? I what past it. Oh, it's actually the golden one. Nice. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I, I can try. We're probably not gonna get it, but I mean, it doesn't really hurt. Although, I guess it actually does waste my coin multiplier, but... Eh, we'll still do it. Oh, and another legendary spawned? And that was in oh, Frosted Peaks. Um, yeah, that one's gonna be even harder than the Unicorn. I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not really going that well for the gold dominus either, so... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna deal with these later, to be honest. But I'll, I'll try the gold dominus, you, you never know, like, one in a hundred isn't terrible. It isn't super terrible. It's pretty bad, but not terrible. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. Let's go! So, uh, yeah, I'm actually really, really happy about that, because, um... Whenever we get, like, our, um, like, start working on teams for, like, fishing and stuff, I'm probably gonna turn all of the Dominus pests into, like, a fishing team because they're Dominuses. Why would I not want to use them at some point? Even though they're weak, which is why I want to use them as our fishing, because fishing doesn't require, like, really good stats. Oh, it actually isn't even that great. That is very, very unfortunate. Okay, so it's not even worth using now. It's okay, okay, well... That's a little upsetting. Oh my gosh, I just realized. I'm glad I hit my index because I actually get 10 legendary cubes now. We can actually try this penguin. It's 15%. Obviously, let's go ahead and uh, increase our pity a little bit first before we, we use it, okay? Just to maximize our odds, but definitely worth it. Uh, we can actually do another four really fast. I mean, it's pretty fast to like throw our cubes, even if they do fail. Just to increase the pity, okay? But one more pity, we'll start throwing uh, our legendary cubes that we just got. We might as well. We're saving them for the legendaries, and this is a legendary. Why would I not use them on this? And we got a first try. Let's go. Okay, surely the king penguin is good, right? Oh, yet yeah, is good. Yet yeah, is good. Okay, we should make grinding these a little bit faster. Okay, not that much faster, but uh, a, a, a little bit. A little bit, and every little bit counts, and definitely helps. Oh, and actually, the King Slime just spawned back in, and we definitely get money for being the boss, so we might as well use this opportunity to get another easy KO. And also, we might get some really, really good items. Oh, a shiny just spawned. We might as well go for the shiny, right? Because, you know, they're not legendaries, they're going to be a lot easier to capture, and it helps us for the index. We definitely want to work on the index, but hey... We beat the King Slime. Can I get at least 250,000 golds? Yeah? Oh, actually, pretty close, pretty close. Anyway, let's go back around and uh, capture this shiny common cow. Oh, I ran past it. I'm really bad at, like, seeing these. The timer, I guess, is just too small. Either way, no point in, like, using legendary, especially in this case, because I think all of our cubes are the exact same rarity, so we, yeah, just stay in, all right? Please. We got it immediately. Great. Now, the issue is, I don't think it's actually going to be worth using. It's probably going to be pretty bad. Oh, it is, it is really freaking bad. Okay, let's start buying all of these upgrades, and I might have enough left over for the door. No. Really close, though. Really, really close. Oh, we actually have enough. I am getting so many coins now. I'm pretty sure it's all from the, um... Emperor Penguin. I am not complaining though. Next area is unlocked, and is there a quest guy or is it just a fishing guy? 
I think it's just a fishing one, which is also infinite like the bro, and I'll probably actually save this dude for a separate video where I like, again, probably spend like 24 hours just fishing, especially for the sea champion. This is probably going to be the first secret that we go for, and if I save up enough cherries, we might be able to get it shiny immediately, but there are shrines here. And I think first things first, we probably want to take on the Kraken because more loot. And if we beat it in five minutes, I get even more money. So yeah, let's just hop straight into it. But yeah, the bosses in this game are actually really, really fun to do. I can't wait for like more future like mini game and bosses in future updates. But yeah, this boss is pretty easy once you know what you're doing. He'll basically do two or three of these attacks, which is very easy to dodge. Okay, just watch out for the falling treasure chests and stuff. But once he does two or three of these, it's generally best, I think, to stand in like the like middle left, but then he'll do this swiping attack. And all that you actually have to do is stand all the way to the left. This will probably get patched out later on, but for right now, I'm definitely gonna abuse it. Having like just a nice little safe spot area for like one of the attacks. And after the swipe attack, he'll do the ridge. And uh, yeah, that corner is also pretty safe from the uh, chest and stuff dropping. So that's basically the strategy. Just dodge two or three of these. You, you can't say spot these ones, to my knowledge at the very least, but they're really easy to dodge. So yeah, just jump over there. And now because that's three attacks, we just go right back to the corner and just rinse and repeat. Okay, Lim, and this should be the end. Nice. I actually don't think I took a single point of damage that boss battle. Okay, nice. I definitely got like muscle memory for this because uh, I have done this boss a lot on my main account. I think I've actually done it 50 times. I'm pretty sure I'm actually on the leaderboard. Also, nice. 1.2 million coins. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, if I scroll down, I'm pretty sure I'm on here somewhere. Okay, never mind. I actually just checked my main account. I've only beaten it 42 times. I have just been knocked off. No! But by the time this video comes out, I don't know. I might be higher up. I might be even number one because I actually want to grind the bosses. They're actually really, really fun. And obviously, I want the really, really rare pets from Lem. Anyway, let me go get this chest. Some good loot, please. Nice. Some tomes. Love to see that. But yeah, let's go back to Frozen now and, uh, Get the chest I forgot about. Oh yeah, how did I miss the button? It's like in plain sight, but yeah, we'll get a new ladder and there's a chest. Probably not gonna be as good of loot as the one that we just got, but I mean, it's still free loot. I can't complain about free loot, right? And what do we get? Oh, actually, a legendary cube? Okay, that probably would have helped if I had that a little bit earlier. We actually have some more things that we can claim, get a little ticket and some gems. We get some gems, a nuller, respawn home, a nuller ticket, and the eggs. Okay, so there is two different eggs. I don't think I actually have the white versions. Oh, no, I actually do. So these are the common ones. You can only get common, rare, and epic pets. So we can definitely, like, use these if I if I want to just get quickly get the pets from the each area. But these elite version is only for epic and higher. So epic, legendary, and secret. So... Definitely want to save these for the later areas. Okay, but while we're in this area, let's go ahead and repair the beacon. And there's actually a gem shop here over here. We don't have that many gems, but let's see if there's anything super cool in here. Definitely could get legendary cubes. We don't want to really, like, waste gems on that low right now. Especially because I think the first thing we probably want to spend our gems on is auto fish. Makes it so much easier to fish. Especially seeing how there's, like, infinite amount of quests there's like there's like a certain amount of quests until you get like a diamond rod and then it's after that's just infinite basically oh when did i unlock all pets equipped i don't even know i wasn't paying attention i guess okay let's see we need four million for the next door and how much do we need for the upgrades i'm gonna guess maybe like 10 million in total two one okay so like yeah, like 7 mil. That'll take us a, a little bit. Also, a legendary fairy spawned. We're gonna go try and get that with the legendary cubes. 5%! Well, let's uh, increase the pity a little bit just to make that a little bit better and a little more manageable. Okay, I think this is probably as high as I'm gonna be able to get it before the time runs out. So now, let's start throwing our legendary cubes and hopefully we just get it on like the first five so I don't waste all of them. Please? Okay. 
this is not looking too good. But hey, if we can get another legendary, which we did, nice. Our party, our equip party is looking pretty nice now. Especially because we got two legendaries. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to help out in the long run. Oh, and because I discovered free legendary pets, I get to claim a nuller reward. Some more gems, some more elite eggs, and hey, love to see that. Probably not going to really use the um, XP boost right now. Again, probably better to save those like an actual good team, like once we get the last area unlocked. Okay, we got 3 million coins, and if I remember, I think that means I can unlock all of these. Yep, might as well. I mean, we get more damage, more coin multiplier, so it's going to be faster to get the coins, and more health. So, you know, I don't have to completely worry for my life every time one of these crabs gets a little too close. Okay, moving on to Dusty Dunes. I don't think there's a quest guy in here. I think it actually just gives us access to the first minigame. Also, we've got to be careful these scorpions. These guys hit really hard, and there's a freaking ton of them. Okay, and we also have the shrine, which uh, I don't think I have seven tickets. How many tickets do I have? Five? Uh, we'll wait for that, because you can only hold seven tickets at one time, at least as of right now. But yep, if we talk to the archaeologist, we should be able to go for the mining minigame. So yep, and all we got to do is basically just pick any pet. I don't think it actually matters which pet we pick. It's definitely going to be great low once we get like a gamer charm, which is just an ability that makes us better at minigames. But I don't have that right now. We're really, really early game and like charms and stuff is like pretty late game. Wait, is this a cherry? There's no way I got, I got a cherry on my very first one. That is huge. Again, like I said earlier, Lou, we're not going to use them yet. We should only use them on secrets, okay? Especially if we're free to play, because we're not going to get that many of them. And if I want to get a lot of them, we got to do a lot of grinding. Okay, can I get this last one in time? I just did, okay. We actually got legendary cubes from this, which is really freaking good. Re like, actually really good. Also, the cherry, I am actually surprised I got that first try. And, and, a unicorn spawned, which, uh, yeah, was our first one, and we failed it. So let's go back and uh, try again, especially now that I have legendary cubes. Can I actually follow this? I can't. Okay, I guess we're walking back. Okay, where's the unicorn? We're getting revenge, okay? There you are. Two minutes is fine. Oh, we can just use a legendary immediately. We probably should increase our pity, but I'm going to get it first try, right? Nice. Okay. We're good. Either way, now I should be able to collect the tickets from the shrine, because I think it generally only gives you, like, two or three. At least that's the only number I've seen. Uh, Yeah, we definitely should use these right now, but I'm going to hold on to them for a little bit. We don't really need to rush for the mini games. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I already forgot. Is it only two million for... Oh, actually, it is only two million for the beacon. Nice. And how much does it cost for this? 40 million? F 55 million? Auto AFK would be nice. Again, I think fishing might be a little bit better first, but okay, let's uh, grind a lot of coins. Actually, what's the next area costs? 50 mil. Okay, we're gonna need like almost 100 million. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. Let's put on some more coin boosters or coin potions. Oh, that's a prismatic slime. That's actually a really, really rare thing to get. And we got a legendary cube from it. And... And... 500 elite mystery eggs. Those are actually really, really rare. Like, actually really rare. I think it's just in every area, whenever a monster is respawning, there's a chance a prismatic slime will spawn. If I actually go to player stats and scroll down to uh, enemies defeated, you'll see now I have a prismatic slime. Also, there is a uh, king crab, which I think can only spawn on the beach instead of normal crabs. But hey, one in like, what, an, an hour of gameplay is pretty nice. I think on my main account, it took me like 10 hours before I got my first one. Oh, another shiny pet just spawned in. Where? Oh, it's actually in this area. Okay, let's go capture it really fast because that's another pet for our index. Okay, finally, we got it. That took a little bit. I was starting to get a little worried, but hey, the next reward we get is another two cherries. Okay, that is going to be really good once again. Okay, we got 50 million coins. Now we could go for the upgrades first. I mean, some of these, 
are pretty nice. Actually, they're not super, super great. We can always come back to them, though, because I would rather actually go to the next area because two of our pets can definitely get upgraded if I just capture some of the pets in here. And also, we can uh, grind on some uh, stronger mobs that should give us more coins. So, yeah, let me go ahead and start capturing some new stuff. We have a couple of things in here that we can actually do. Let's first do the Dance Champion minigame, which is... Uh, Basically, Simon says, so let's give you a ticket, and I don't think it really matters which one I choose for this, to be honest. Again, we don't have, like, the gamer charm. So all we're going to do is copy what the uh, NPC does for, like, five, six rounds, which is pretty easy. The last round, though, I do struggle sometimes, especially if, like, they pick the same arrow, like, three times in a row, because I always miss the third one. I swear. I don't know how, but I haven't lost yet. And the last one. Hopefully it's not super difficult. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. Hey. Oh. <laughs> okay, spoke a little bit too soon. I haven't lost yet, though, okay? So I got two more lice. Although, you see, I actually don't know what he clicked there because I was talking. Okay, last, last, last chance. Okay, that one as well is actually really, really easy. I'm so glad they gave me an easy one. That would have really, really sucked if I lost. But hey, got some gems, got a tome, which actually speeds up, like, shrines and um, boss timers, which is huge. Some uh, cubes, some money, and most importantly, radioactive, is it slime? I, or is, I kind of forgot already. Jelly. Radioactive jelly. This is going to be really, really crucial, okay? We're going to want to grind as much of this as possible, which is also why I wanted to go into this area first, because we can get this radioactive jelly from the uh, Dance Revolution minigame. We can actually get it from the Magic Shop, but it is a little expensive, but we definitely want to store up as much as possible. But we can also get it from killing these mutant slimes. I don't think it's like a guaranteed drop, but uh, yeah, we can get it as a drop. So it is definitely worth killing these mobs specifically way more than any other mob. Although that actually isn't it. This place is actually really, really cracked. We got a minigame, a star, the best mob in the game right now. And we actually have a cave which has some shrines and another chest. Let's do the chest first. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, we got Deadly Runes and Mystery Scroll. Nice. And we also have uh, two shrines back here, which, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. P pretty good, you know. Pretty good. But yep. Oh, I died. <gasps> All we're gonna do now, then, is grind some more money. So, why not do it on the Mutant Slimes now, where we also get radioactive jelly. And like I said, we need as physically much of it as possible. Oh, a new Dominus spawned in. Let's go get that really fast because we got some legendary cubes we can use on it. Uh, actually, we have a decent amount. 14 is on like a lot, a lot. It's a decent amount low. Okay, there it is. Just stay. Oh, actually, it's 100%. Okay, yeah. Legendary cubes are really good, especially for Dominus pets. And uh, all I have to do is use one. Nice. Oh, and I actually completed uh, another, uh, like, index quest for us to do. We get another ticket and a respawn tome. Okay, and some uh, gems as well. It's pretty difficult to get gems without, like, really doing the quests or the bosses, like, that much. So, I'll definitely take as many as I can get before I start doing those pretty heavily. Okay, where's the Empress? Oh, how could, how could I miss it? How could I miss it? Yep. 100% a legendary cube, don't mind if I do. This definitely looks like the best Dominus though. If I had to pick one Dominus to have on Roblox, it would definitely be the Emperor. I mean, I mean, it is just the OG, and yeah, it looks the coolest. Oh, another legendary just spawned, and it's actually a legendary from this area, which if I can capture it, this will definitely be an upgrade to the team. How rare, 10%? Okay, well, let's, uh... Get some pity up. Okay, that's probably as much as I'm going to be able to get it up. So let's just go for some legendary cubes. 13%. This actually, I was going to say, it might take us all of our legendary cubes. But I just got the 
very first one. Okay, that is really, really good. And if I quit best now, it is definitely going to get equipped because it is just my best pet I have. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to speed up the process. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I can already see this is speeding up the process a lot. And I get a little bit of a bigger coin multiplier. Okay, this was actually really, really, really good to get right now. Okay, I think it's about time we start using the crafting, okay, since we got some good money now. So I'm actually going to make 25 coin elixirs. It's going to take 25 minutes, but by the time they're done is probably when I'll need them. And I guess we can actually just use one of these coin uh, potions now just to speed up the process to get to the next area. Because, yeah, I think 25 minutes should give us enough time to get to the next area, get some new nice coin multiplayer pets, and then we should be able to start grinding for the actual real money to come back and get all of these upgrades and uh, beacons that we're missing. Because right now, I want to speed run to the lost area just to get better pets to make it a little bit faster, you know? Okay, we finally got it. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that took up a little too many of my cubes. It's fine. We can equip best. And it actually didn't get equipped. I mean... Oh, because that's and higher. I guess it doesn't take into account the fact that they're only level 1 versus level 22, but we can definitely unequip our sand mouse to put on our bat because, uh, yeah, the stats are like practically the exact same, although this actually has a way better coin multiplier. And yeah, once I level up like what, twice, its power is going to be higher, so definitely a nice upgrade. And this actually means I'm just going to go to the next door like in what? Head more slime kills, if that. Okay, and we got a hundred million, so it's time to go to the magma basin, which actually is gonna be great because there are some more shrines here that we can uh, go unlock really fast. Just make sure you don't touch the lava. Anyway, all we gotta do here is come over here. We can go press on the button to open up the gates really fast, easy, and we might as well collect the shrines here. Which one of these is the best shrine in the game? Obviously, this one is going to be great because it's a rune, one of the best shrines of the game. But the best one is the Golden Cherry Shrine. We get two times every time we hit it, which is why it takes 12 hours for us to come back online, which makes a lot of sense. But yeah, now we can just enter the castle, talk to Loxley, which will give us a basically a series of uh, little hints or clues that we're going to go find to progress through. Which this isn't like a new area past the lava basin it's based like side areas for this specific area but yeah the first clue is a cross in the sand so obviously we're gonna want to go to the beach okay the cross is just over here like right next to where the chest spawned read the clue and the next area is a uh, furnace burns bright on a pile of logs which is a burn a burn woods i already completely forgot a burn woods okay i i, I was right i didn't forget the name but yeah, it should just be right here. And the next one is uh, where Champion stands tall. Find me on the Fountain's Waterfall, which is right at the beginning of the game because there's leaderboards for champions and pretty sure that's actually the only place that there's a fountain in the game. But yeah, it's right here. Just got to do some little bit of parkour. Next is Ares Crisp, where there is a roof colored green, which is the uh, Frosty Peak area. And once here, we just gotta look for the house that is green. I gotta do some more parkour. Now we're gonna go to Desert Island, where a pyramid resides, which is uh, actually a little weird of a spot. It is actually a, a lot more hidden than all of the other clues. I'm not too sure why, but they actually put it inside of a pyramid. So yeah, once you're in just the dunes, just make a left on the lone island with a pyramid, and for some reason. Yep, you can walk through it. And then now we're gonna go to Purple Water at the end of the cave, basically where the shrines are. Okay, Gloomy Grotto, let's see if I can quickly just do Hardcore Parkour. Easy. Okay, is this the last one now? Nope, never mind. We're gonna go back to the skate park now, the secondary in the game. Okay, we're in the meadow, and yep, just right next to the skate park. And now. Yeah, okay, this is the second last one. Now we can go get the key. So yeah, once we're here, just gotta jump across again. And we gotta go to the side of the castle this time. I mean, you guys probably know this, but just, I guess, for newer players that don't know this yet. 
and then we can just go up the ladder and there should be a key awaiting for us yay and now all we gotta do is talk to Luxley again and he should let us through nice yep this will unlock the summit and there's actually another area up here because uh if you go to this area where oh no not a secret hmm i wonder yeah this button will open up a little bit of a parkour area although there's no point in me going up there right now because we're gonna need some money for the beacon up there so we gotta go money grinding first but now that we're at the last area because uh yeah the arcade isn't out yet although by the time this video comes out it honestly might be i don't know how long it's gonna take to be honest especially because i'm trying to get all of the normal legendaries in here so yeah as you can see i would like to try and get an entire party right now of the 1000 legendaries because obviously it'll be a nice upgrade for my team and it's not like super super rare so yeah uh, i think we actually do have auto hatch unlocked the issue is do we have any luck potions i have got five i'm gonna use all of them yeah i'm definitely just gonna go ahead and use all of these and we're gonna go ahead and use as many of these eggs as possible even though i can only open up one at a time because, again, we're not using Robux, so it's going to be a little bit slow, but hey, hopefully we get at least, like, what, four for a full part? I feel like four isn't too much, right? I got 25 minutes of luck. I think we'll be fine, hopefully. Oh, another Dominus spawned in. Okay, let's take a little bit of a break from this, okay? Let me just hatch this last one. Also, I think asking for four legendaries is a little bit much, okay? So, uh, yeah. The only issue is, uh, I don't have the speaking unlock, so I actually gotta go ahead and, uh, run back a little bit. Okay, where's the Dominus? Hand it over. Okay, yep, just use a luxury one, just capture it straight away. Nice, that'll be added onto our index as well. Love to see it. Another luxury just spawned in. I am wasting my boost, but I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for it. Oh my gosh, it's not even guaranteed. Uh, I'm actually just not even going to waste my time with this one. I'm just going to go back and use my uh, 80 minutes of feeling lucky on the eggs. Th there is no way I am going to get that right now. Honestly, it might be easier to get with using the elite eggs. So yeah, I am not going to waste my time with that. Because by the time that uh, I fail it, that's just going to be like a what? A two, three minute waste from my uh, boost active right now. And I've already put them on. I can't pause them. Oh, I went for a P and I come back and uh, yeah, we actually hatched a legendary. Nice. Well, I got 10 minutes left on my boost, so we might as well keep going until the 10 minutes are up. But at least we got one. And I'm down to the last 10 seconds of my boost, which uh, yeah, it looks like we're not going to get another one. Yeah, okay, we're definitely not going to get another one. So last one. Okay, rare pyro dog just spawned in. So, uh really good timing also yeah my uh main account is actually just auto hatching because uh i also want to try and complete the uh index on my main account so i can also get the secret from doing so also pyro dog please stay in nice another pet down for the index and is that one actually really really good 150 okay it's pretty good but it's not as good this is the best team i can make right now so now it's time to go back and start making some money so I can get all of the upgrades and all of the beacons because we're missing quite a lot of them now. Also, I'll just quickly kill a crab really fast. We actually do get more money from killing the crabs than we do from killing the slimes. However, like I've said like many times over, because I am mostly wanting the radioactive jellies, especially for late game, they're very, 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 very crucial. We're going to be spending all my time here. Even if it is slower for money, I'm working on money and radioactive jelly at the same time. So it's definitely worth it in the long run. Oh yeah, we're getting money pretty fast. I already have another 100 million. So if I remember correctly, pretty sure the upgrades in Dusty Dunes only costed like 45 million? 40 million? No, 55 million. But hey, now that those are done, We'll eventually come back to the gem ones. We aren't in like a super rush for the gem ones. But now I think we can start on um, the upgrades here. Although these ones are going to be a little bit more expensive. But hey, I can at least get the health one, which means 
I can tank some more damage. Also, another Dominus spawned. Let's go. Don't mind if I do. Please stay in the first one. It's 90%. There's no way you break out, right? Nice. Okay, then. Is that actually all of the Dominuses? Also, we just got another reward. These are really good. 25 legendary cubes. That is huge. And a thousand gems. Although, yeah, I am wasting some tickets, but it's fine. I'm not in a rush to really use the tickets right now. Again, I know it's not optimal, but I'm mostly just saving those like bigger projects for a different video. Anyway, how many of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure there's seven in total. Which ones am I missing, Len, actually? Okay, yeah, we are missing two, and I actually don't know what they are because it just says question mark. Great. Not helpful because they look the exact same as the silhouettes. Okay, clearly we're making more money, but this is still going to take forever. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit easier to AFK by actually using some of these radioactive jellies because we actually have two legendaries that are actually equipped. I'm going to go ahead and give them both charms. There's only one I really want right now, and that is lifesteal. Although if we also get a looter, I wouldn't mind too much, but... Yeah, okay, looting is fine, but lifesteal would be better right now, just so I can go AFK, because if my pets do damage, I'll get health back, which means I will never die, hopefully. But unfortunately, we didn't get it, so we have to actually use these scrolls to actually remove them, and it will always remove the lower tier one, which unfortunately, if they're both the same tier, It'll get rid of the second one always, but it's fine. We have got a little bit of radioactive jelly, and I just need one of these to get lifesteal. Seafarer is fine, but we're not, we're not using that right now. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get lifesteal, yeah? Okay, looting and critical his isn't too bad. I guess I'll keep close. Let's go to our older legendary now, then, and uh, give it some charms. And again, I just want one of them to have lifesteal. Oh, we actually got it. Looting one and lifesteal one. Okay, that is actually really, really good. So now if I come out of that and I uh, just stand still, let them attack me. Yes, it does damage, but I do get some health back. I think I'm actually still losing more health when I'm gaining, but I mean, it's much more AFKable now. I don't have to like worry too much about my health. Oh, a Null or Dominus spawned in. Let's go get it. And I think I actually have enough money for this shrine. If I remember, it's like, what, 10 mil? Oh, no, it's actually way cheaper. 4 million? Okay, well, let's repair and let's go get our six Dominus. We're just missing one Dominus, which is really nice. Glad we didn't get, like, too many duplicates. Just got to look for it. So, yeah, Rex is one of the ones I forgot about. I have no idea, though, what the last one is, but either way... It doesn't matter because uh, even if I don't remember which one it is, I am so glad it tells me that I just don't have it. Yeah, that is like such a good addition. Like the developers of this game have thought, clearly thought about a lot of things that they wanted in this game and to make it like basically as new proof as possible. So you don't have to like use more than like what, 10% of your brain? But for me, it's still like 100% low. I mean, <laughs> big idiots. Okay, we've gone ahead and got a lot of money, so I should be able to buy plus 100 pet storage, which isn't super necessary, but we might as well buy it because it's only coins. And now, if I go quickly check, can I just buy all of the rest of the uh, teleports? Hopefully I can. Oh, it actually only costs 5 million to repair this one, or this be beacon, not teleports, beacons. They're practically the same thing. But now I should be able to go to the summits which will uh, be right over here. This one was probably like, what, 10 million if I had to guess? Nine, 9 million, even cheaper. So yeah, now we can go to the top, which is actually just the black market. We can just do the parkour, and we should have enough to also buy that one. Let me just quickly do the parkour now. Okay, and we're here. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, it's 20 million, yeah, okay. I definitely got a little bit overkill for the money, but yeah, here's the black market. This is going to be where I'm going to be spending a lot of resources, okay? Like Shrine Rune, I should probably buy these right now, but I feel like it's better to save my gems for the AFK fishing first. And also now, the only thing to really like spend my money on now is for these upgrades, which uh, 
There's actually only two of them, which are coins, and that is going to cost me 42 billion. Okay, that's going to take us a long time, but we definitely need them. It's damage, which is, yeah, obviously, we do more damage, and luck, which will make it even easier for us to get the legendaries and eventually secrets. So let's go back to grinding, which, yeah, we're going right back to the slimes. Okay, never mind. I've been gone for like a minute, m m maybe? Uh, yeah, the last Dominus just spawned in, so now we've actually completed all of the normal legendaries from the Mellow Meadows. I apparently missed an epic. I'm probably missing some pets. We'll go back for them after we get all of the coin upgrades. But anyway, where's my Dominus? End it over. So yep, now that should be all of the Dominus pets, so great, love to see it. Okay, and we have 2 billion coins, so I should be able to go to Magma Basin now, or actually the Summit is where the upgrades are, and we should be able to buy one of them, which, yeah, I can't buy both of them right now, but buying one of them should at least speed up the other one, because you know, it's damaged, so that means... I should be able to just kill the slimes faster so I can get the faulty billion also faster. Hey, a shiny bunny spawn, which, yeah, is at the very, very, very start of the game and it's clearly just not very good, but it does help me complete the index, so it is definitely worth catching if it stays in a cube. Can you just stay in, please? About time. So yeah, and actually with that, I think we should have another quest done. Nice. Okay, our 50 coin elixirs are done, and that will definitely last us quite a while. Which actually, I'm just going to put on another hour because we're going to be here quite a while. I could definitely like go for like, I don't know, like maybe another 100. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit. I'm going to go for 999, which yes, will take like 17 hours, but... It is going to be going non-stop okay. It's just that we have to be in the game, I'm pretty sure it says here, for this time to go down. And I'm actually going to finally spend some gems to unlock the second uh, tab for crafting. And this one, we're actually going to go fully all into XP elixirs. So yeah, and again, it's going to take the exact same time, but that is fine. Now that they're both taken down, once they're finished, we're definitely not going to need any more of them for a long time. A long time especially a thousand xp elixirs i don't even know if i'm ever gonna spend 999 oh my gosh we actually got it i am kind of surprised we actually got that but i am not complaining at all 47 pets pretty good so yeah we're definitely not gonna get to 100 pets for quite a while but once we do we get a lot of cherries a lot of gems and we get a secret pet as well. So yeah, that one's definitely going to take quite a while though. And honestly, it might have to wait until like the game gets a couple of updates, which should just make it easier to get to. Okay, monkey, just stay in the first cube, please. Damn it. Second try. Damn it. Surely the, the third try? Okay, I'm just going to stop until it stays in. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly isn't working. Oh, of course, after I said I was going to stop it. Sure. Sure. Oh, I almost completely missed this. There's only 16 seconds left, so hopefully it stays in the first two. But I was literally getting food, and of course it spawned. Okay, it needs to stay in this one, otherwise I might just not get it. Okay. A little bit too close for comfort, but hey, I still got it. And that's actually a shiny in a pretty decent area. I don't think it's going to be worth putting on my team. Oh, yeah, it's too weak. Another new shiny. Let's go. Hopefully it's just a one cuber. No, two cuber. Yeah, nice. Okay. Also, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break from uh, going for my coins because, yes, I still have like, what, 33 billion more to go because I uh, have, uh, you know... A few non-legendary pets I actually have to get, which uh, I didn't even realize I was missing some of these until I just checked. So yeah, I'm going to take a break and go ahead and just get all of these up to the legendaries. Also, we have now discovered 50 pets. So hey, two cherries, love to see, and a thousand gems, diamonds, great. Okay, we got it. Now if we go to my index, we should have now got every normal, so like, 
the common, rare, and epics. The only thing we're missing now is legendaries. Obviously the secrets, but we're not really going to be going for those in this video. If I happen to get one or a couple, like, randomly while opening eggs, trying to get the legendaries, they're nice. And the shinies, again, I will go for them if they spawn, but we're probably not going to get that many or a lot of them in this video. My goal is to just try and do the normal stuff, so normal commons, normal rares, normal epics, and normal legendaries. Okay, we finally got it. I think I used almost 20 cubes just to get that one, but hey, we finally got it. That's a nuller legendary pet ticked off, and yeah, there actually aren't like that many legendaries that we have to get now. Ooh, why is this shiny pig green? That That is such a weird color to make it. Either way, get in the cube, okay? That's a nuller new shiny down whenever it stays in the cube right now. Thank you. Okay, now we're talking. Instead of a shiny spawning, we now have a legendary. I actually don't have many legendary cubes low, so probably not going to get it, but we're going to try our best because uh, I don't have this legendary yet, and it's a pretty rare one. Oh my gosh, I actually got it. I wasn't even using legendary cubes. Okay, game. It hasn't even been a minute since I actually caught the sea star and uh, yeah, a nuller shiny spawned in that I actually don't have. I... Oh, I, I see it, I see it. Also, I actually got a little look at my med account. I got a legendary hydra, which uh, I actually didn't have on my med account. So yeah, in the last like one minute, I got a uh, sea star, a hydra on my main account, and now a new shiny. Yeah, that is pretty cracked. Just stay in the cube, okay? Don't make me waste my cubes on you oh and apparently that was our 10 yep our 10 shinies so we have now got an a nuller rewards oh boy we got a nuller shiny that i didn't have before which uh yeah not gonna complain about as long as it stays in hey we finally got it and that is a nuller one down love to see it oh a nuller shiny and i guess we'll just use a legendary cube on this one because apparently all of the rest of our cubes just kind of suck but hey we got it okay now this is epic a shiny dragon yes please even though it's not a legendary i will use my legendary Cubes. And we actually got the first try. Okay, so that was definitely worth it. But that is really, really awesome. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. We have gone on a complete, like, crazy streak. I feel like I haven't even, like, got that many duplicate of shinies that I've already caught on this account. So, gotta say, my shiny luck has been kind of insane. So, uh, yeah. N nice. Another shiny down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, a nuller legendary spawned, and it's actually better than any we've got in the game. The only issue is, uh, it's pretty rare, so yeah, only a 5% chance. We are gonna really struggle, and I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it is definitely worth trying. Okay, one more cube, and we should get our pity increase, so now I think it's time we start throwing our legendary cubes, please. If I can get this, this would be so, 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 so good for the account. Especially right now, please. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Really, really freaking good. Okay, see you later, Golem. I don't need you anymore. And actually, I can just go ahead and delete you now. Let's go ahead now and equip our Cerberus. And of course, because it's a legendary, we got to go ahead and level it up a little bit first. Okay, with our Wild Bearers. It's not going to get it too high, but I mean, it's a start at the very least. And then now, let's go for some charms. Okay, again, I, right now, I just want money and a little bit of power, I guess. So, oh, okay. Is it first try again? Come on, deadly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, only tier one versions, but still. Better than not having any, right? Um... I saw that I had an inventory pop-up, so I clicked on it to check it out, and it was actually for mounts, and apparently I somehow got a prismatic hoverboard, a hoverboard that shimmers in all colors imaginable. I'm guessing a prismatic slime spawned and I killed it? Maybe? What was it? 
Oh, actually, we have killed a lot more prismatic slimes. Well, um, yo, I have a new hoverboard. I don't think it's any faster. Actually, it is legendary tier. I'll say this could just be a cosmetic, but it might be a little bit faster. Let's actually see. Oh, actually, it has a rainbow. Okay, this is a really cool hoverboard. I mean, this wasn't in the plans for me to get. I actually didn't even know this thing existed from Pismatic Slimes. I thought they just gave you more elite eggs, but, uh, no. Okay, it is actually faster as well. Okay, well, that is a nice upgrade and visually upgrade as well. Oh, another new shiny showed up. Also, unfortunately, my coin boost ran out and I'm actually out of coin potions as well. So, unfortunately, grinding to fall to billion is gonna be a lot slower now, but that's fine. I mean, we're still getting jellies, so at the end of the day, it's still worth it. Even if it does take me, like, maybe another five hours. <laughs> oh, a shiny tropical doggy. And, uh, yeah, I actually didn't even have the shiny on my main account. So I quickly also hopped over because it doesn't take my main account as long. Because if it's, like, a really rare rarity, I can use Robux on my main account, just not on this account. Hey, let's go another shiny. So just get in the queue, please. And I can go back on my way to grinding because I'm really, really close now to fall to billion. Like super, super close. Hey, we got it. Let's actually have a quick look at my index really fast. We are so close to discovering 75 pets. And uh, yeah, I want the 2,500 gems. Also the 25 legendary cubes are actually going to be really, really helpful as well. So, I mean, yeah. And any second now, I'll finally have the 40 billion coins. Yeah, it has been a grind. If I actually go to my stats page and show you, we've been playing for 13 and a half hours now. We have collected 42.6 billion coins in total, which, yeah, a majority of it is in my inventory right now. Like, actually, like, 99% basically. But if I actually scroll down, you'll see I have killed... 12,000 mutant slimes. Also, just because I'm incredibly lucky, okay, I killed one more prismatic slime, I think, since the last time I actually went over these stats. And yeah, I don't know exactly how I did it, but if I go to my inventory, I have a second prismatic cover board. Now, I'm not allowed to trade on this account, so I'm not entirely too sure what I meant to do with a second prismatic cover board, but maybe there might be some use that I can use it in like a, maybe a later update, like maybe a machine to like change into something else. I don't know, but now I have two of them for some reason. And there we are. We now have 1.1 times luck here for 40 billion. That's really expensive. And uh, that took a little bit too long, but, but hey, hey, I got 15,000 radioactive jellies out of it. So I think it was definitely worth it. So now I can finally start working on the legendary pets that I am missing. But yeah, that 1.1 times boost is definitely going to come in handy, but it's only going to help so much, you know? But now that we have that look, if I come to the areas where I need the legendary pets from, so for example, this Hydra pet from Frosty Peaks, and I go to my Elite Eggs, you'll see that we have a 1 in 3.6 thousand chance to get it. So yeah, this is practically going to be my life now until uh, we get all of the legendaries, or until I get lucky enough for them to spawn, which I'm hoping that is the case for a lot of these because oh boy this is probably the more common one that i have to grind for right now okay wait a minute we're gonna divert from the legendaries for a second because i completely forgot i actually ran past this building i realized oh wait there's a ladder on here and oh yeah i forgot some of the chest i have probably got a lot of comments probably telling me hey you missed these chests and here's how to get them but uh yeah let me just quickly go grab them really fast this one's in dusty just on top of the uh little building here two golden chairs how did i how could i forget that one that's such a good one to get the old chest that is a uh, in magma which i actually don't know how i missed this one and actually i don't think i even have this one on my main account but there's a chest right here hopefully this one gives me something good i actually have no idea radioactive jelly respawn okay yeah not too bad okay i increase the pity as much as i can before we use our legendary cubes okay because i only have eight of them and it's not even like a two percent so Chances are we're probably not going to get it, but hey, maybe we're really lucky, maybe. And 
unfortunately, we didn't get it. I think I actually glitched it. Oh, no, it just took a little while to d despawn. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get it. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to stick to the good old-fashioned eggs. Okay, I took an little break from uh, hatching legendaries, especially after that last clip, because I was feeling a little defeated, the fact that I just didn't get it. So I decided maybe there's another hidden chest that I haven't gotten yet. I mean, I haven't gotten one yet in the summit, I'm pretty sure. And I think this is the only area that could have a chest left. And uh, yeah, turns out there actually is a hidden area right up top of here. And I actually saw a ladder, so I'm going to go investigate it. Okay, we finally got on top of that crystal. There might be a better way to do that, but hey, we finally got on top of it. And on top of this mushroom, then on top of here. And here is a secret ladder. And I can actually put my camera down there. So let's just jump in. And there is a hidden chest. I actually wonder how many people have gotten this one. Oh, and what the heck is that doing here? Okay, I actually did not know about this one either. I am glad I went hunting for it. Five cherries? Okay. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. 15. I have 15 tries on my account now. That is pretty good. Oh, another shiny just spawned. So let me finish hatching my egg, okay? And let's go capture it. And one cuber? Come on, send the first one. Damn it. Why is it never the first one for me? I swear. But hey, this is pretty good. Also, I think I'm going to run into a problem because unfortunately, I don't have any luck potions. Yeah, legendaries are pretty rare even from these eggs, and I only have 3.9 thousand of them, which uh, is a decent amount, but that's like only enough for this one legendary, and we got a lot of legendaries to grind for, so I think once we get this legendary in this area, we're probably going to grind for more elite eggs, which I think we can actually get just by farming the scorpion monsters. Actually, Maybe every monster, all and slimes, drops them. And we got a Nuller. Nuller new shiny. Okay, I think actually when I catch this one, I think we've done a Nuller index challenge quest. I actually don't know what it calls. Index challenges? Either way, I got rewards basically, which is 2,500 gems and 25 legendary cubes. Yeah, this is actually going to be really, really nice. And actually, that um item that I just got, where where did it go oh it's here I, i'm i'm so blind we do get super lucky so we definitely will want to use this later on for the rarer legendaries i don't think it's worth using it right now though okay i'm not gonna lie it might have been a little bit too over ambitious to go for every legendary pet in the very first video for this series but while I'm going for these legendaries, I also might actually complete all of the shiny index up to, like, common... There actually isn't uncommon in this game, it's rare, epic. I just might be missing the shiny legendaries and secrets, honestly. I mean, we're getting a lot of new ones right now. Oh, and actually, speaking about shinies, we have discovered 20 of them, so I get three cherries. Love to see it again, saving them for the secret pets, and another 1,500 gems. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost missed the shiny parrot. So, okay. Just get in the cube. I only have 15 seconds left, okay? Thank you. Uh, no new shiny. Also, uh, yeah, I've been editing the video a little bit since I'm also just AFKing now. And oh boy, I am so sorry. I didn't realize how long this video became. <laughs> We're almost done though, okay? We're almost done. And another new shiny that we don't have. Also, if you look in the chat, a Legendary Phoenix did spawn. I did try and get it and I unfortunately didn't. I used every single Legendary Cube that I had at the time. So I'm gonna do another diversion. I'm gonna go money grinding so I can try and get like, I don't know, hopefully a couple hundred luxury cubes. So if they do spawn in, I've got a better chance. Okay, I think this is actually the very last shiny common pet that I need. So nice. Stay in the cube. How do they never stay in the first one? It's like, bro, you're just a common from the very start of the game. I don't want you, I just need you for the index, okay? Stay in, or else. Thank you. Okay, and we got another new shiny, so stay in. Yeah, I, I don't think... Actually, no, it's a lie. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever caught a shiny or a luxury in the first cube, but that's definitely like I already have. But uh, yeah, B, you're not even that good, okay? I'm probably never gonna use you, so... 
pl please, I just want you for, uh, what do I even want you for again? Oh, in index. I completely forgot why I was catching it. <laughs> okay, we're getting revenge. I have so many legendary cubes, okay? It's not even funny, so you have to stay in one. And actually, it's probably not the fact that it won't stay in one, it's probably that the fact that the time will run out before I can even use all of them. Oh my gosh, we finally got it. And the best part is, we're not even done yet. Because another Hydra spawn that I don't have in Dusty Dunes. I want to say this one is probably going to be a little bit harder to capture. However, we got really lucky, pun intended, that we got the lucky little uh, enhancement going on right now. So, okay. We got 28 legendary cubes. Hopefully we can get this one too. And we didn't get that one, unfortunately. Unluckily, I actually ran out of legendary cubes. And uh, I also like lost a minute. On trying to capture that one since it came with like one minute left on the iced wing hydra so yeah it wasn't the most optimal chance to catch it but hey at least we had an attempt anyway i'm gonna go grind some money so i can actually grind some more uh mystery eggs by killing the uh lava crabs and we can also use that money to try and buy some uh, legendary cubes from the black market okay well i got like two minutes until my shrine spawn in so i thought i'll go around the map again just double check to make sure i got all the chests right well i found another chest and actually found another two which uh, unfortunately won't be recorded because uh, my video got corrupted so yay but basically the other chest that i got was here and then the other other chest was back in the um, beach. I don't know how I missed these. I guess I'm just an idiot and I've been playing like really, really early and very, very long. Well, the other chest was here. They just got like a couple of gems and a couple of items. Nothing like super, super big. And we got another legendary. Actually, hatch this giant pearl from the elite eggs. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have any footage of me hatching these legendaries from their eggs because I'm just AFKing these all on my laptop. So, uh, yeah. Also, if I go to the rest of my inventory, you'll see that I have a butt ton of cubes and mystery eggs. Which, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you can't really AFK the scorpions and you can't really AFK the lava crabs. So, what I've just been doing is just been farming here. These normal crabs will give you rare cubes and mystery eggs. So, yeah, I've been crafting all of them. And if I actually go to my player stats, uh, I AFK'd these crabs, I think, for like 15 hours. So, yeah, my time played is almost two days now. Oh, oh boy, it's, it's been rough. Okay, and we're finally done with Dusty. We got multiple Hydras. I mean, we have a butt ton of dual cons, but we already had one of those. And we also finally got a Tetra Cube, which, uh, yeah, is one in 45,000, and I can only put up one egg at a time. It's pretty painful as a free to play player. And just to show off how much I've been grinding for it, yeah, I now have three days, 13 hours of time played. I'm pretty sure that Tetra Cube took me two days of non stop grinding. So I think I'm going to rework my strategy a little bit when it comes to the Gloomy Grotto area and the Magma Basin since we have a couple more legendaries to go for. I think honestly we're going to grind more mystery eggs and I think it's time I start doing the uh, bosses and the mini games just so I can grind some luck potions just to speed it up a little bit. And now we're done with Gloomy Grotto because we got Kitson unlocked and we also have the King Mush unlocked. Also, I was wrong about the Tetra Cube. It is... Quite a lot better than Magma Cube. It's actually about the same as Cerberus, just a little bit less for the coin. So uh, yeah, we will definitely be adding one Kitsune to our team and a King Mush. So uh, yeah, sorry about that Magma Cubes, you just aren't as good as I thought you were. So now the only legendaries we need are the two I'm missing from Magma Basin. Although uh, yeah, as you can see by those rarities, we're definitely going to need to stock up on a lot more elite mystery eggs and while i'm doing that as well we might as well go play some more mini games and do some boss battles to try and get some more lucky potions because we're gonna need as many as i can get okay i'm not entirely too sure how i did it but i ended up getting the rarest legendary before the second rarest one i'm definitely not complaining although i am out of mystery eggs so we gotta go grind for some more but uh hey i mean that is definitely a really good pet, and I might as well level it up and give it a chance to help me just beat the bosses a little bit faster in hopes to get more luck potions and also more mystery eggs. Okay, we have finally got the Phoenix, the last normal legendary pet I needed. Also, I think since the last clip, 
I think it's actually been an entire week, so now I have 16 days played and 13 hours, although, as you can see on the side, I've actually started working on the next videos because this was taking so freaking long, so I think I could knock off, like, about 4 hours, but still, like, 16 and a half days just to get every pet. Obviously, I didn't, like, do it in a very optimized way because, I mean, uh, if I was gonna be smart about it, I definitely should have bought the egg hatch, but, uh... Yeah, I'm only like halfway to that, so uh, in the future, I will definitely be getting the speeds up, getting legendaries. But now if I go to my index, we're only three away from 100 discover pets, so we're so close to this trio pets. And shinies, we, we have a decent amount, I can't really complain. I mean, I've been AFKing overnight, so obviously I haven't been like catching more of them. But in future videos, like this uh, quest one... Hopefully, I can get some new shiners, and we can also make a head for this uh, doodle pet, which I actually don't even have on my main account yet, because I've been focusing so much on this freaking account, but it's finally done. We're finally done, so um, is there a way that I can actually show off all of the legendary pets? I think the only way to do this is to go to the teleporter, and we can scroll through all of the worlds. So yeah, if we quickly go through, you can see that I have got every normal pet. Eventually, I will go for the secrets, okay? Not the event secrets. I will be actually uh, doing the events, like quests. As you can see, I've already started the stranger quest. I will be doing, like, the event stuff on this account. But I'm not going to go out of my way to get, like, the event secrets from hashing eggs because they're just too rare and they're only here for, like, what, like a week or two? It's just way too difficult on a free-to-play account. And I just physically don't have enough eggs to actually get them, and I physically can't open up like 200,000 eggs in a week when I'm only opening one at a time. It's physically impossible. So for the limited secret ones, I'm not going to worry, but I will do like the events, like stuff like this, and obviously the, um, uh, what is it called again? The St. Patrick's Day event with the uh, Pot of Gold. I mean, that one is really, really good. I've been getting so much loot, and that's why I have so many lucky potions, because... I've been grinding it, okay? But yeah, we finally did it. <laughs> that is episode one for Noob to Pro. Yeah, that, that was definitely poorly optimized, but hey, we're finally done. If I was to recommend, if you're doing this yourself, definitely do like all of the mini games and all of the bosses at the same time. I was wanting to save those for like a different video, like beating the boss like, I don't know, like a thousand times or something. Yeah. Uh, definitely needed the loot from the bosses, so I should have just done more of them. But hey, we're finally done, so here we are. I'll see you guys next time.